In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to use the layer parenting option in Adobe Animate. Um, so we're going to start with this file just to understand the concept of how it works. And then I'm going to show you a few examples of how you could apply it into your projects. Now for this file, we have three different shapes and each one of them is in a different layer. This is shape number one, shape number two and shape number three. The first step that I will do um, in order to work with this file is convert these shapes into symbols. So I'm going to right click, convert to symbol, and this is, I'll just name it symbol one. And then this one, convert to symbol, symbol two. And then the last one, convert to symbol, symbol three. Okay, so now we have three symbols. So when I click on symbols, you'll notice that there's a dot uh, in the center. And this is called an anchor point. So if I use the free transform tool and rotate the shape, everything is going to rotate or even expand according to this point. Okay, so let's just undo. Now, what I want to do is create kind of a, chi a key chain um, effect into my animation. So I want the anchor points to be at the top. Okay, so clicking on the free transform tool, drag this little point on the top of the symbol. Okay, we'll do this for all of the shapes. Okay, then, okay, so I have um, all my symbols and the anchor points are on the top. Now for the linking of the layers, we're gonna use a parenting child relationship for the layers. So click on this show parenting view in your timeline. Uh, just, oh, no need to drag. Okay, so how we're gonna link, I want you to start with the last point to the main point, okay? So if you had a character with um, a, a body, you're gonna start with the fingers, to the hand, to the lower arm, to the upper body. So the same applies here. So um, this one should be the main controller of all the bottom elements. So to link them, I'm gonna start with the last shape. So just click and then drag, and then from shape two to shape one. Okay, so this hierarchy tells you that the first one, which is shape number one, is at the top and it controls both two and one. Okay, just to give you um, an explanation. So notice if I'm selecting the top shape, all the bottom ones will move. And if I select the, bottom, the second shape, the one that's under it is going to move because it's its child. Okay, so this gives us a lot of flexibility with character animation, with layer animation and I could create classic tweens so let's say in the first frame I have them in a straight position and I'm gonna go to frame number 24 I'm gonna add a keyframe and I'll just move this one slightly this one slightly maybe this one also okay so in between them I'm gonna click create classic tween now I have an animation okay so this is a basic concept of how it works and you could also add a tween between them so classic ease maybe Ethan and I could also not just change the position I could also increase the scale so if I scale it or stretch it or squash it the other two will be affected okay and if I move it around also they're gonna move with it okay so in this second example I have a scene uh, with buildings and clouds and also the streets. So the first thing that you're going to do is create a new layer and name this control layer. And in my control layer, I'm going to create a symbol. Okay, so I'm going to create use a square, right click, convert symbol, and I'm going to name this null. Okay, click OK. So this is going to be my control. If I'm going to move it right, I want everything in the scene to move right with it. Uh, so I'm going to parent this, all the different layers, into the control layer. So make sure that you have the parenting view on and then select all the layers and just drag them into the control layer position. Okay. Now, if I move this control, all my layers should move with it. Now you're going to ask, why should I use this? The reason is instead of animating all your elements and moving them to the left or the right or making them big, you could use a control layer parenting technique in which if I animate, say, the square 
which is my control, to this side. Okay, and then I click right click, create classic tween. All my elements are going to move with it. Okay, it's just easier for animation, especially if you have a lot of elements that you're working with. Now, what I'm going to do is double click on the symbol and I'll just turn the opacity down. This is when, after you finish animating everything, just remove your um, null element. Okay, so now it's transparent. Go back to the scene and I have it as my control. Now, another method is that you could choose one element in your scene and make it the, con the, the null object. So let's say I could um, parent everything and put them, put the floor as the control layer. Okay, so you could do this multiple ways, but I like to use nulls because it makes things easier later on. Um, and it's distinguished in my animation. Now for this character, everything is broken up. We have the upper arm in one layer, the lower arm in another layer, and the hand in one layer. And it's already prepared for you for animation. You could tell that each of them is a symbol. You could tell by this border. Um, and what I'm going to do is select the free transform tool and change the anchor points. So naturally, <laughs> we move our hand from the wrists. And for this part, the joint is in the elbow. And for the upper arm, it's in the shadow, in the shoulder. Okay, so this is the anchor point. Now, to link this, make sure that the parenting view is on. And we're going to start with the last body part, which is the hand. And we're going to connect it to the upper arm. So start with the hand. And then the middle part is the lower arm. And the lower arm should link to the upper arm. Now, if I move my upper arm, both of these two should move with it. And if I move the lower arm, the hand should move with it. And now you could um, create your animation. You could add frames, change the position of each one to make it look like your character is waving or walking or dancing or so on. Okay, so that one you're happy with one position and you created the keyframes, you click between them, right click, create classic tween. And then you could add easing and you could copy the frames. And an easy tip for character animation is to do the movement with your, with your body, <laughs> like wave, and then see how your hand and arm are moving and apply it to the character.